So you should see Sidio on the home screen here, and let's open it up, and you can see just like that, we have successfully jailbroken with the brand new Uncover version 8.0.0. Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to jailbreak iOS 14.6 up until iOS 14.8, all firmwares in between such as 14.7 and 14.7.1 fully supported. So we're going to be using the brand new Uncover version 8.0.0 update, this doesn't support all devices, so let's first of all make sure we are supported. We do this by opening up settings, then you just want to find general, and then find about. In order to follow this guide, your software version needs to be running 14.6 up until 14.8, all firmware's in between, and your model name needs to be iPhone XS, iPhone XS Max, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max. Those are the only devices which support the brand new Uncover update. So you can see I'm actually not supported because I'm running iOS 14.2 on my iPhone 10. However, I will show you the process of how to jailbreak if you do have a supported device. If you are on uh, all the other iPhones uh, which are on iOS 14.6, 14.6 up until 14.8. I will keep you guys updated when you can jailbreak with an Uncover uh, update, so make sure you are sub uh, subscribed with the icon enabled. However, if you have iPhone XS up until iPhone 11 Pro Max, let's get started with a jailbreak tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to have to have access to either a Windows or Mac computer. This is because we're going to sideload Alt Store onto our device. Alt Store will allow us to get the Uncover jailbreak. So if you haven't uh, installed Alt Store yet, keep on watching. If you have installed Alt Store, I will have a time slot down below so you can skip uh, get to, uh, to getting the brand new Uncover update. So I'm going to move to my computer right now and show you how to set up Alt Store on your device. For Windows, I want you to open up the Microsoft Store, search for iTunes, and if you have this version downloaded, delete it. Next, search for iCloud on the Microsoft Store. If you have this version, delete it. Then go to Alt Store link in the description, click on the FAQ, then you see download the latest version of iTunes directly from Apple. Right click, open a new tab, you'll be brought to the iTunes page, scroll down, Click looking for other versions, Windows, and then click download iTunes for Windows Now 64-bit. Download this and set it up. Next, you'll need to find download the latest version of iCloud. Right-click, open a new tab. You'll be brought to this page. Scroll down, and you just want to see download iCloud for Windows. Right-click this, open a new tab. And if you're having a bit of an issue where the download doesn't start, right-click here, copy link address, and paste that into a new tab and then the iCloud download will start. After installing both iTunes and iCloud, make sure to restart your computer. If you don't restart your computer, Alt Store will not function. Once you've set up iTunes and iCloud, head over to the homepage of Alt Store, and then click on the Windows download. You will need to be running Windows 10 or any future versions of Windows in order to use Alt Server. If you're running these older Windows versions, just update. Next, you can see the Alt Installer.zip. Just click on this one, and you see Alt Installer the MSI, setup.exe. You just want to drag these two to the desktop, then click on the setup right here and set up Alt Server. Next, open up iTunes and plug your device to the computer. On your device, you should see a message saying trust this computer. Just tap on trust, enter in your passcode. If you see this message, just click on continue. Then click on agree to this welcome message and you should see your iPhone show up. If you see this message, just click on continue. And once you're on this page, you want to scroll down to the bottom and you see right here, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. Click on this and then click on apply, then click on done. Then we can close out of iTunes, quit, and then search up for Alt Server and open this one up. You should see at the bottom right the Alt Server application. If you don't see it, click on this upwards facing arrow and you should see the Alt Server show up right here. Left click the Alt Server icon, hover over Install Alt Store and then find your device. You will now be asked to enter in your Apple ID and password. Your Apple ID and password are only sent to Apple Server, so this is completely safe to do. If you're not okay with entering your Apple ID and password, create a brand new Apple ID and use that burn Apple ID with Alt Store. You may be asked to enter in your two-factor code. Just check your devices and enter that in. You receive this message, just click on OK. And now Alt Store should install onto your device. Just be patient. On the Mac first, plug your device into the computer, open up the Find Your Application, should see your device, just click on it. If you're asked to trust the connection, tap on trust, enter in your passcode, and you'll be brought to this page. Scroll down until you see, show this iPhone when on Wi-Fi, click on this, apply, and then close out the Find Your Application. Next, go to the Alt Store download in the description, click on Mac OS, save, and wait for Alt Store to download. Click on the .zip, wait for it to extract, and you see the Alt Server application. Drag and drop this into the Applications area. If you have installed Alt Store before, just click on Replace. Next, right click on Alt Server, open, click on Open again. Now you can see Alt Server is opened. Click on the Alt Server icon, click Install Mail Plugin, Install Mail Plugin, enter in your passcode. Now the Mail Plugin is installed. If Mail is opened, close out of it, reopen the Mail application, then click on Mail, 
Preferences, Manage Plugins, Auto Plugin Not Mail Bundle, click on it, then click on Apply and Restart Mail. When using Alt Server, make sure the mail application is minimized so Alt Server can communicate with the mail bundle. Next, click on the Alt Server icon, Install Alt Store, select your device, and enter in your Apple ID and password. Your Apple ID and password are only sent to Apple servers, however, if you don't trust Alt Store, create a brand new Apple ID and use that burn Apple ID inside of this field. Once you've entered your Apple ID, you may see this prompt, just click on Continue, and now Alt Store should install onto your device. Once Alt Store has installed, when you try and open it, you're going to receive this untrusted developer message. So to fix it, you just want to head over to Settings, then find General, then you want to find here, Profiles and Device Management, Developer App, Trust, Trust again, and now Alt Store should open up no issues. So uh, if you get this message here, Alt Store like to connect to devices on your local network, just tap on OK and then allow notifications. So you want to head over to settings now and then sign in with Apple ID. If you get the message saying could not connect to Alt Server or Alt Server couldn't be found, something like that, I'll have a fixed tutorial in the description. But, uh, you know, the best fix is just plug in your device to the computer every time you receive that error, then try what you were doing again. So we just need to sign in with the Apple ID and password we used to install Alt Store. Once you're signed in, you're going to see this page. Just tap on Got It. Now we need to sideload the Uncover Jailbreak. So you want to head over to the Uncover website. It's uncover.dev. If you are too lazy, you can always just type in uncover.com as well because it's literally it will redirect you to uncover.dev. And then once you're on this website, you just want to tap on the Open and Alt Store, just like that, and then tap on Open. And now Uncover Jailbreak will install onto your iPhone. If you get the Couldn't Find Alt Server error, I'll have a uh, fix in the description uh, down below. So all we need to do is just wait for Uncover to sideload onto your device. All right, there we go. Uncover has just been sideloaded. So let's open it up. And all we need to do now is we just need to tap on the jailbreak button. So just give this a little bit to jailbreak your uh, 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 iPhone. That was hard to say, wasn't it? So what we need to do is you just need to tap on the jailbreak button until this says jailbroken here. So it may take a couple of attempts. All we need to do is just be patient, wait for the jailbreak to do its thing. Uh, so just tap on jailbreak until you see jailbroken, until you see Cydia on the home screen, and it opens up no issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, speed this part up. Don't forget that I'm jailbreaking uh, with the older exploit, the one for iOS 14.3, because this iPhone 10 is running iOS 14.2. Just make sure that if you're running iOS 14.6 up until iOS 14.8, you know you just follow the same steps as me, so the same steps will apply to you as well. So once everything is done, you're going to see here jailbreak completed. Just tap on OK and then the device will restart. If you get any errors, or if you get like, you know, your job, uh, iPhone needs to restart, just restart your device, uh, open up on cover again, tap on the jailbreak button again, until Cydia opens up. So you should see Cydia on the home screen here, and let's open up, and you can see just like that, we have successfully jailbroken with the brand new Uncover version 8.0.0. So you can see, again, I'm using you know, the older software version. However, if you're running 14.6 up until iOS 14.8 on A12 to A13, you should be good to go. You should be successfully jailbroken with Cydia installed. So thank you, uh, our opponent's own Uncover team, for releasing this jailbreak. This is honestly awesome. Wasn't expecting it, but... Here we are. So hopefully this video did help you out. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.